This is a clutch at start up with the thrust bearing in place, the pressure plate and the disc spring. I'm driving the oil pump with the gearbox back through the transmission, we're in top gear now and pushing the wheel around. That's why my breath's changing because I'm pushing hard on the back wheel to rotate it. Now if we take this apart we see that no oil has appeared down the shaft and gone into the holes and grooves that lubricate the plates on this side. If I take the pressure disc off and just show the clutch release bearing uh, that's the position that it goes in. I take the clutch release bearing off as well, the throw out bearing as well. You can see this fits, this piece fits into there. Um, this has got three flats cut on it. Uh, it's very long for the job it needs to do, um, but it's blocking the route of oil from the middle of the shaft. I've now got the bike level rather than lent over to the left. So the oil that's been blown into the end of this shaft, in the hollow shaft at the left hand side of the engine should be making it here and in fact all it, it's not getting here but all it's doing actually is pushing this out like it was a piston you might notice it's moved a little bit if I do this again the bike's dead level so the oil's there but it's pushing that out you see it moving out, making its way out and if I actually take that out of the way altogether and then we'll turn the engine over. Eventually we'll get a good supply of oil coming out the end of the shaft. And there it comes, dropping beautifully down into the area that it's supposed to drop into. Of course if we were going faster it would actually be spraying all over but slow it down now, that's the oil to the place where it should be. Getting all down the inside of the hub and reaching the oilways where it should be. Put the clutch back together as it's assembled and this works as a piston blocking the end of the shaft and no oil is actually getting out. And I'll wipe the inside of the hub clean ish run it again with the piston in place more likely it's there and we can see again no oil is actually getting out to lubricate the back of the clutch hub or pass through the oilways and then lubricate the plates which are uh, out here. Immediately I take this out of the way. Here we are, got a good flow of oil out there into the shaft as it's designed to do. It's working its way down the fingers of the hub and it's collecting where it should be. in the oilways. If I just lift the camera up you can see there there's oil coming through all the holes and lubricating the splines of the drum and that oil in turn will work its way up onto the steels and frictions and wash them clean, keep them clean so we have a proper oil bath clutch that's working as an oil bath clutch, not half oil bath, half snuff dry clutch with no oil at all. And there we go.